Hello Acadiana and thanks for joining us for Live from Studio 10. We begin today in Henderson where a family has to start over after a power line falls in their home and sets it on fire. News 10's Zane Hoag met with the homeowner who tells us this can only be described as a nightmare of a week. Over years of living in their home, the Lachalet family says it's withstood storms, heavy winds, rains and even hurricanes. But a simple down power line would turn this week's storm into a nightmare. This has been like a nightmare. I never thought something like this would happen. It survived the, you know, the storm, but not, the, not couldn't survive the fire. Lachalet says she and her husband evacuated their home on Monday night following the tornado warning, staying with her parents until the storm passed. When the couple returned to their home, they found a power line had been knocked down by a fallen tree and led to power surges in their house. After turning their breaker box off and putting in service requests with their electric provider, Lachalet says she returned to her parents for the night, getting an unexpected call from a neighbor the next morning. Uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning, I got a call from my uh, neighbor, and she told me that she saw a ball of flame come out, and uh, she could see some flame coming out about the middle side of the back of the trailer also. And she had called the fire department before she called me, and this is what happened. Lachale says the fire resulted in a loss of most of their belongings as the interior of the home was covered in flames. As the family now struggles to find out what the future holds, Lachale says outreach from her neighbors and a GoFundMe page started by Blair Miller is helping life for the family begin again. It's still not real, put it that way. But I think God's going to be with us and we're going to make it through this, you know. A link to the GoFundMe page to help the Lachale family move forward can be found on our website, KLFY.com. In Henderson, I'm Zane Hoke for KLFY News 10.